If you know anything about us, you know that we never recommend going with tour guides when going overseas. It just limits your freedom, and sometimes the schedule is so hectic that you barely get to experience the place at all. But the harassment of tourists in Egypt has gotten to the point that we are surprised the government hasn't stepped in to protect the country's reputation. So you might be wondering why should I go to a place where the hagglers accompany me from the airport to the hotel room. If you love history, then ancient Egypt is as ancient as it can get from the tall pyramids to mausoleum of the Aga Khan. Egypt gets a lot of hate, but it's undeniable in its history and sites, and you are missing out if you decide to not go. We will talk about the good, the bad, and everything in between. Ever wonder how you would feel if you saw something which is so surreal that it's hard to believe it exists? The ancient pyramid of Egypt gives you that feeling. The most notable building is the Pyramid of Giza. The first thing we recommend doing is scream or talk really loud. Yes, we are serious. And no, you won't get into trouble for this. There is something quite mysterious hearing your echo all the way out in a place where kings and pharaohs are buried. It is a fact that some of the artifacts made by Egyptians still exist today, and some are even 4,000 year old that looks like they could still be used today. Spoons, chairs, combs, pottery. Next up is the one-on-one -on -one session of skin care with the world's most preserved skin experts the mummified pharaohs. Don't take their lack of talking as a disrespect. They just don't care about your opinion anymore. The innumerable secrets inside these vast temples and hidden stories behind the wall paintings and sculptures take you to a different world. Many Egyptian rituals, philosophies, sacred texts and shrines are found on the dusty streets of Luxor, where it's normal to see a wedding procession, a funeral procession, and an echoing call to prayer all within a span of a few hours. We had no idea what to expect when we started researching the White Desert in Egypt. We looked at some breathtaking pictures, read many detailed reviews, and also gathered that the White Desert was highly recommended by multiple travel guidebooks, and so we definitely recommend booking an overnight camping trip with a well-reviewed tour company. Some of the harassment stories are so surreal that it's hard to believe. We at Fine Travels wanted to be absolutely sure that these stories are accurate and unfortunately, after verification from multiple sources, this happens everywhere in Egypt. The usual camel riders selling junk items for 10x the price are easier to spot, but the official looking guys in suits and ties with whistles are hard to see through. We came across a couple depicting this story. We would like to point out that everyone's experiences can be different and people are more likely to post about negative experiences, and certain events may make them more emotionally charged. And Egypt is definitely one that gets a lot of negativity for obvious reasons. Particularly with sexual and gender-based harassment, it can be very tough to deal with and frustrating for the traveler. You can do all the research you want, but your trip can have low points or be soured by certain behaviors. This holds true for anywhere though, Here's our tips for those on the fence about Egypt. Number one, visit if you're curious about Egyptian history, temples, pyramids, etc. Absolutely, it is worthwhile. If you're just looking for a two week vacation and haven't been, perhaps you shouldn't go. This is not the place to go if you're just looking for a relaxing vacation. Number two, have a price in mind before negotiating. Google beforehand or use common sense. Fine Travels have heard verified feedback from visitors who have negotiated a $2.5 airport taxi in Luxor while others have paid $20. Number three, two tours through the hotel. This one's self-explanatory given the horror stories we have discussed at the start. Number four, be prepared for locals to pester you for taxis or try to sell you things. It works well to ignore them or to say, no thanks. Number five, try to keep small bills on you for toilets or tips. They really love their tips. Number six, don't treat anyone like a friend. They'll try their hardest to act like they're a trusted friend. 
Don't fall for it. They only want your money. Number seven, Google common scams in Egypt to prepare yourself. While we tried to cover the most common ones, the scammer always comes up with new strategies, so best do your own research.